when you arrive in Thailand, it becomes clear that light clothing is often the best option to cope with the warm weather. When considering what to wear in Thailand, you must navigate your way between the weather and the society while being fashionable. The solution is to dress in a relaxed and in a casual way. You don't want to be overdressed as that will be too hot, but at the same time, you don't want to show too much skin to respect the Thai culture, especially inside a religious site. You also should be aware of what is ideal clothing for different activities such as going to the mall, going to the beach, eating out in the evening or at the nightclubs and going around town. There are some type of clothing that Thai people may find offensive. The best way to identify what is ideal is to pay attention to how the local dress. The way you are dressed as well as the way how you look will also determine on how you might be perceived and treated. Here is a detailed tip on what to wear in Thailand. Okay, so the first one is the duels of what to wear. Thailand is hot and humid year round. If you're not used to hot weather year round, you will be sweating regardless of your clothing choice. However, you should consider these options for your daily clothing. For men, it comes recommended that you wear a polo shirt or some regular t-shirts and shorts. Having some pants may be ideal as well. Perhaps bring a pair of jeans or a sweater or two if you are visiting the northern part of the country such as Chiang Mai or Chiang Rai. I would say the best things to wear in Thailand for men are polo shirts, button-down collared shirts, regular t-shirts, and knee-long shorts. For women, shirts, shorts, and lightweight dresses are the best options for you. Females are expected that their shoulders and knees to be concealed, particularly inside temples or other government settings. Other than that, you can wear clothing that show your shoulders and knees as Thailand is becoming more westernized, at least in my opinion, especially if you're inside a tourist hotspot. But outside that, you might want to cover up just a bit. The duels for men, my best pick is to wear polo shirts and shorts for your footwear, put on slip-ons or running shoes or sandals. If you are planning to go for hiking or tracking, you might want to bring some hiking shoes. For me personally, I like to wear regular t-shirts. Other times I like to wear like sporty t-shirts and shorts made with polyester or spandex or both. A pair of shorts and slip-ons. Now, I haven't wore jeans or running shoes or dress shoes since I've been living here full time for over three years. So that's my personal pick. When it comes to women, you want to bring something lightweight, uh, lightweight dresses that offers comfort and style. Okay, so you're not allowed to to wear shorts here, uh, you will get denied. So this is the first time I can't go in because I'm wearing short. Like this. But what you need to do is you need to rent some pants down there. Okay, so here are my don'ts. The things that you do not want to wear for me, there are two types of clothing you don't want to wear in Thailand. So the first one are like thick clothing, jackets, long pants, that sort of stuff. You want to avoid that because it's just too hot and you don't want to get overheat. The second type of clothing you want to avoid, particularly a woman, are clothing that show too much cleavage. Uh, you might want to avoid that. While I think it is fine for women wearing skirts and shorts, but too much or excessive tight and too much revealing skirts or too tight of skirt and shorts are not, in my opinion, ideal. Especially outside the tourist hotspots. Now you can get away with those tight, excessive, revealing clothing inside a tourist hotspot or wearing a bikini in a beach. But inside a Thai city, you might want to avoid that or outside the tourist hotspots. 
Now for men, you might want to avoid like overly tight shirts or t-shirts, uh, sleeveless uh, shorts or like tank tops, some type of clothing that can see your nipple. I think those are not a good idea for men and women. cultural consideration when dressing in Thailand. As stated in the earlier part of this video, Thailand is still very traditional society, particularly outside the tourist hotspot. But in the cities, it's a little bit different. It's a little more westernized. Uh, you will notice that Thai people tend to dress in a way that is not too revealing, even when the weather is quite warm. Most Thai ladies tend to enjoy wearing very modest clothing. It becomes even more apparent when going to religious sites. As a tourist, that's you, you should be aware of the social and cultural aspects of the place you are visiting. This will enable you to interact in a way that creates a warm reception. Of course, this is my opinion and my generalization. Different part of Thailand will be different, particularly tourist hotspots will be very different from a real Thai neighborhood. When it comes to what shoes to wear, you want something comfortable. The footwear you must have with you are flip-flops and slip-ons. Now the reason you want to bring them is because they both go well in the Thai society as well as the warm weather in the country. Also you will appear modest and you will be quite comfortable in them. The worst footwear to wear when traveling to Thailand for women would be high heels because it's just uncomfortable. You'll be walking a lot. Uh, it's okay to get footwear that is cool looking. Boots and tracking shoes are great but you cannot rely entirely on those because uh, boots and tracking shoes are great for tracking but other activities inside the city might not be so comfortable. What to wear for nightlife activities? So if you are looking for some excitement, then Thailand nightlife is the place to be. Typically, the best way to dress is to appear casual and stylish. A polo shirt, jeans, maybe not a flip-flop, and no sandals should do the trick. What to wear for beaches and islands? While it is completely acceptable to wear your bikini or thong at popular beaches, men are expected to wear shorts and women can wear their bikini or swimsuit. However, once you leave the beach or your private swimming pool, remember to cover up. What to wear when visiting the temples, other religious sites, and other grand palaces. So basically, you want to wear clothing that is not tight fitting, showing your shoulders and showing your knees when you're going to the temples or other religious sites. Uh, this includes both genders. Girls and guys are expected to cover up most part of their bodies, such as the elbow and knees. You can bring a long scarf to cover your shoulders. Also, many popular temples offer long sleeve clothing that you can rent while you're visiting the temples. Leave a comment if you think I missed anything or I got something wrong. If you watch all the way here, give it a like. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to here. Also check out things you need to bring before traveling to Thailand. So if you're new and you're not sure what to bring to Thailand, check out that video. Give you a list of some of the most important things to bring or to do before you travel to Thailand.